that is everyone and welcome to another shop my stash video um i have a lot of opinions about this week this week was very interesting trying out some of these products i have some good ones i have some bad ones like very bad ones and i have some mm, okay ones so let's talk about all of these and then go ahead and shop for the thanksgiving week who's excited for that i for one i am excited so let's start this but before we start don't forget to subscribe become part of this family do you like shop my stash do you like certain uh reviews well also do you like gratis videos from sephora because i do those too so please uh, consider subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up now let's get into this thing let's start with this foundation this is the found sealer from tarte <sighs> boy i don't know i think i liked this at some point in time but I am really not liking this right now. This week I tried it and it's just moving so much on my face. It's so hard to set. It is so hard to blend. It is a mess. I honestly, oh, I didn't like it. Also, I do have the wrong color that is too light. So I uh, pulled this uh, foundation out from my uh, drawers because this is the Clinique, even better clinical. This one is uh, darker than my skin tone, so I combined it with this one and it worked much, much better. Um, also like setting the foundation, also like how uh, the application went much, much better when I applied this to this, but this one, let me tell you, save yourself some money. If you don't like something that is moving a lot on your face, that it transfer like crazy, that um, is going to um, not last on your face, is going to be really iffy with powders, don't buy this. Do not buy it. Do not buy it. Okay, so I'm going to take both of these out. I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to take this one and just kind of, Put it in my empties i'm not gonna use this anymore it was it just was a mess i it really gave me a headache i don't want to put it on my face ever again so i'm gonna put this one in my empties it's full but no i i really didn't like it so this one hmm remember when i said last week that everybody wanted to have this this was such a viral product everybody was raving about this thing hated it i hated it it was god darn it so at first i thought it was just the found sealer right so i put it on found sealer i was like oh this looks horrible horrible and then i tried it by itself with no foundation underneath it horrible again very drying it will it will stick to my dry patches it would look so dead body type of look you know what that means like you don't have any oils nothing showing up you were just like literally dead and i was not applying a lot it was very very iffy too and then i applied it over the two foundations which you don't need to set it that much after you put the clinic foundation and this still didn't perform well so let me tell you this it's trash. I don't know who the hell came up with the idea that this is amazing. I don't know what type of skin they have. I don't know what is going on. But this doesn't last on me either. It doesn't set my foundation properly. It makes everything, like, it's emphasizing texture like crazy. I don't like this. Ugh. Such a horrible, horrible uh, powder. Don't, uh, don't do it. Save yourself. Okay, now let's talk about this. Okay, so this was the Pretty Vulgar um, Detox and Chill Primer. I actually did like this. This was okay. Um, it's very refreshing. I'm not sure if it's doing much for the foundation as like making it last longer because I had such bad foundation 
things this week but it is very refreshing and um it it, it feels nice so i did kind of enjoy it i i am gonna keep it in for next week because i want to give it a, a little bit more I want to try it a little bit longer just to make sure what I'm telling is it's correct. And I'm going to try to use a foundation that I like. We'll see. Okay, so next in here, let's talk about the uh, shape tape. I still like this. It's still my favorite. I like it. It was good. We'll take it out. Um, the powder from Ofra was really nice. It worked nice with that uh shape tape uh, concealer i am uh, thinking i'm gonna keep it in just one more week for now uh the kkw i had to use it once but i use a different concealer um in that day so i am should i take this one out i actually i'm just gonna keep it in too i'm gonna keep in the uh, lip glow from dior um I do like this a lot. I only have like a very little in it. So I kind of want to finish it off. So I'm going to leave it in there. This one from Charlotte Tilbury is the Glowgasm, the beauty wand. I really do like this one. It looks really beautiful. Um, I usually apply it under powder. So it looks so good. Um, I'm going to take this one out though. Now for mascaras, I have to take these out. I love these mascaras. But the War Show is my favorite. I'm going to take them out because I have some new mascaras that I want to try this week. So I'm going to take those out. Uh, for these two from NYX for brows, I'm going to take them out as well. I do like them. They're very nice, but I have two new products that I kind of like a little bit more. I tried them a little, a little bit this week. There's some new products. I'm going to show them. Uh, so I'm going to put those in and take these out. And then the liners let me see the liners okay i did use this once it is very liquidy so it takes a little bit to dry down it's a very nice color though it's a nice vibrant blue um but it lasts all day so once it dries down it's not a problem but it takes a little bit to dry so you kind of have to be careful with that but it is nice i do like it and then the other two, I had the one from Pure. This is really beautiful. I love this. Uh, um, I love this pencil because it is really creamy and very uh, pigmented. So this is a really nice one from Pure. And then I had the one, the nude from um, Makeup Geek. I really do like this one as well. So I'm going to take these ones out as well. Okay, the Morphe blush, I like it. I'm going to take it out. The Nars one, I did like it too. I'm going to take this one out as well. Let's talk about the lip gloss. I tried it a couple of times. It was okay. It wasn't too bad. Mm, I don't say it was an extraordinary type of look on it, but it was okay. It did its job. Now for the lip product, this one from Ulta Beauty is really nice. It doesn't last on the lips at all, but also has a kind of funky smell. I don't know. It kind of has like a gasoline smell to it. I'll be honest with you. I don't like how this one smells. So I'm going to take this one out. The lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, like I said, is not showing much on my lips. It was okay. Not impressed with this color necessarily. This isn't Pillow Talk. Uh, for me, Pillow Talk Medium is the one that works better. So I'm going to take this one out. This setting spray, it was okay. I don't think it did much for my skin, but it was okay. So I'm going to take this one out as well. Uh, the two eyeshadow palettes that I had this week, very nice ones. Let me open them. This is how they look like. Um, they're very nice. I like them. I like both of these formulas. I haven't played that much with them. I'm going to put some pictures up so you can see what uh, I came up with when I did play with them. And then the primer from Milani is nice. And I'm going to keep the primer. I'm going to take both of these eyeshadow palettes out. All right, now let's uh, talk about the new products that are going in this week. The new products are going to be this uh, Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes Mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. I tried it once. I did like it. 
but I want to give it more tries this week. And also another two brow product from Charlotte Tilbury are going to go in this week. I tried these both. Really love the way it looks. Absolutely adore it. So this is the Brow Cheat um, Pencil. I have mine in... Uh, what is it? I wish it was easy to read okay black brown and then i got a charlotte tilbury legendary brows i guess so this is um in what color this is in dark brown um they're very nice together i really do enjoy them this ones i purchased them myself i have not received them as gratis so those are gonna be new as well i do have two new other products that i want to put in and this is from uh one size this is the block liner I am so excited to try this on the eyes. I played with it on my hand and I really did did like it in the store. And also another liner that I'm putting in. It's a green liner from Sephora Collection. This one looks so good. I'm going to show you how it looks at the end. But now, let's go shopping. Before we do that, I forgot to talk about this Makeup Geek uh, Telepathic Mm, I use it as a highlighter. I really do like this. This is so beautiful and so pretty. But we're going to take this one out as well. Hey guys, so um, let's see what foundation we're going to go for this week. I'm honestly not sure what I want to try. I think I should just kind of go with this one from Laura Mercier. I have not played with this one enough. So, let's try this one. I might need something else to combine it with. Should I... And I'm going to pull this one out too. Number 7, uh, Lift and Luminate. I'm going to put these two together. Let's do some powder. I think I'm going to go with Laura Mercier powder. Uh, this is the Lawless Beauty. Where is it? This one? Yeah, that's the one. We're going to do the translucent Laura Mercier powder. And I think that's it. Do I want another one? No, I think this is going to be good. Now, blush and bronzer. Mm, not sure. Not sure. I think... I think I'm going to go with this one, Dolce Diva Baked Bronzer from Keiko Milano. And then I'm going to try for blush. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to go with this one. I haven't played with this one in a while. So I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. We're going to go with Sugary Cosmetics um, Blush Palette. Let's pick a concealer. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with this. This is not a very good one. But I'm going to put it in. This is Time Bomb from The Bomb. I'm going to put this one in. And then I'm going to put another one just to kind of have it in combination with that one. And I'm going to go with Neutrogena one. And then for a setting spray, let's have a look in here. What do I have? Oh, let's do this one. I do have the small one here from Tarte. This is Stay Spray. So we're going to try this one. Highlighter. We are going to do the Too Faced one. This is the Love Light. You light up my life. And then I'm not sure if I want to do a uh, lip liner, but I know for sure I want to go with this. This is the ColourPop uh, Lippy Stick, so I'm going to put this one out. And for eyeshadow palette that I want to try this week, I think I'm just going to pull one. So let me have a look in here. Uh, I have the Lurley Los Angeles. Oh, I have not played with this one in a while. Mm -hmm. Maybe next week I'm going to do that one. Oh, yes, let's do this one. Let's do the Huda Beauty Miracle Retrograde. 
All right, so here's a quick look how all these products look like. I did swatch some of them on my arm. Here is the highlighter from uh, Too Faced. That is uh, one of the blushes. And that is the bronzer, the concealer from the balm, the um, primer, which is dark. Yeah, I could tell you can see that. And then I have the two foundations next to each other. The darker one is from Laura Mercier. The lighter one is from... Um, number seven and then the concealer from neutrogena is that one and this is basically how these looks like of course i have the translucent uh, uh powder from Laura mercier and now let me show you how the eyeshadow palette looks like so here's the eyeshadow palette that i decided to go with this is how the huda beauty marker retrograde looks like i'm excited to try and play with it, uh, with it a little bit more and then this lipstick i absolutely love it this is the swatch right there next to it i have the two liners look how beautiful that sephora liner is it's amazing it's in shade 06 and then the liner from one size is right next to it but made a larger one and a smaller one because you can totally do that so yeah this is pretty much what i have in this week and i'm excited to start trying these things and see what we think by the end of next week also i kind of want to tell you happy thanksgiving if you're watching this on thanksgiving day or afterwards or before whatever you feel like um because i don't think i'm gonna put another video up at least i don't think so um and um, that is it thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you all next time have a nice one bye